Hey guys, it's Searden, and today we're doing a review of the Nerf Zombie Strike Ricochet. So the Ricochet is one of three of the Nerf Vortex Zombie Strike blasters, and this is the smallest one, and they're actually front-loading blasters, which is kind of interesting, at least for Vortex, because normally you had to put them in the back, like with the Proton, but you'll soon see why that this may not be the best design a little later on, but to fire the ricochet, you just take your vortex disc, which is the same as the normal ones, put it in like that in the front until you can't push it anymore. You pull back on the priming handle, and then you pull the trigger, and it fires out at a pretty low velocity. And just, you can see it doesn't even have a return spring, so you have to push it back in like that. So like all of the vortex blasters, there is a few locks, so you can't prime it if you don't have a disc in and unlike most of the vortex blasters there's no actual way to get the disc out so if it gets jammed for whatever reason it can be a nightmare to actually get it out because there's no like de-jamming button which is kind of annoying but just hope that it fires every time so there's not really any tactics on the blaster there's not really any sling attachment points or tactical rails and I mean nothing really else on this side they did only paint it on one side as usual for the newer blasters and I don't really think there's anything else to say about it so we're gonna move on and do the range test now hey guys it's Tom and today we're here at the range to range test the nerf zombie strike ricochet so we're just gonna be using vortex discs because that's all it can really shoot um, and starting off with flat shots. Let's go. It's kind of a pretty slow loading system because you have to pull it back, or load your disc, pull it back, and then push it forward um, after you've fired it. So it doesn't have the best way to fire. Okay, now angled shots. Okay, that's it for shooting the discs. Now let's check the ranges. Okay, so our first shot here is at 28 feet. Then we have two that are around 34 feet. Um, and then we kind of have our last three um, from 38 to about 39 feet. Okay, that's it for our range test. Now into the conclusion. So as you just saw, the ricochet does not shoot very far for a vortex blaster and there's several reasons for that. One, because it's probably not very powerful, and two, it doesn't really work in the same way because it just kind of pushes the dart or the disc out instead of actually like flinging it out like most of the Vortex ones did. So overall, I don't really think the Ricochet is a very good blaster because it just doesn't shoot very far and it also doesn't have a return spring and it's overall just not a great blaster. I mean, it is the smallest of the Vortex blasters, so I guess you could give it that, but Compared to the Proton, it's pretty terrible. So that's the end of our review of the Nerf Zombie Strike Ricochet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe.